If you've watched the previous videos in the series, I shared how you can use reactive programming concepts to write responsive maps on Android. In this video, I'll share how you can do the same on iOS using Apple's reactive programming framework combined. Stay tuned. According to Apple's documentation, Combine is a framework for handling asynchronous events by combining event processing operators. While this definition is correct, it can be a bit hard to wrap your head around how Combine might benefit you just by reading that description. So let's take a look at an example. I'm building an app called Old Places. It's an app that shows you places around you that have old photos available so you can see how a place changed over time. I want my app to be responsive to user events, so not only do I want my app to show places around them, but I want my app to respond and show more places as they move around the map. One way to accomplish this is to listen to camera change events so the map can be updated as the user moves around. The GMS map view has a delegate property that receives various events, such as camera change events on the map. To start listening to these events, you must implement the GMS map view delegate protocol. Typically, this is implemented on a UI view controller. The specific event that I'm interested in is when the camera goes idle, which is received in the map view idle at method. Since I need to perform a network call to get new places, I need to make sure to perform that request off the main thread so I'm not blocking the UI. In this implementation, I'm providing a callback that would be invoked when the request completes. Also, to avoid any unnecessary calls to my server, I'd like to implement a delay so the network call is only invoked when the camera stops moving for at least a half a second. Further, I would have to cancel any pending network calls if the camera moves and goes idle again, so we're only invoking the network call when needed. As you can see, composing all these asynchronous events can be complicated. Each asynchronous completion requires a callback, so when they are chained together, it affects the readability of your code. As an alternative to the solution, you can use Combine to rewrite the same code in a declarative fashion that does not use nested callbacks. I'll give a quick high-level overview of Combine and then go over how we can use it alongside the Maps SDK for iOS. In Combine, there are three core constructs. The first construct is a publisher, which is a type that delivers a sequence of values over time. Anything that emits values over time can be a publisher, like location changes, push notifications, or user events like click events. The second construct is an operator. Operators act on the values emitted from the publisher and republishes them. For example, the operator map takes in an emission as an input, applies a function, and then passes the output of that function downstream. The last construct is a subscriber, which consumes the event emitted from the chain of publishers. Applying combined concepts to the app I'm building, we can represent camera events as a publisher so that the publisher emits whenever the camera goes idle. We can then apply an operator on that event to transform camera idle events to new places around the new camera position. And finally, subscribe to that chain of events and update the map with new places. To get started using Maps with Combine, install the Google Maps platform Combine framework using Swift Package Manager or CocoaPods. If you choose to use SPM, you will also have to install the Maps SDK for iOS using one of the available installation options. This library provides a GMS MapView publisher class, which takes in a GMS MapView and provides publishers that can be subscribed to. The publisher we're interested in is Idle at Camera Position which emits camera idle events. Since we want to add a bit of a delay before fetching new places, we can set a debounce operator and set a due time of half a second. This operator will only event the latest single camera idle event if multiple events occur within a half a second period. Next, we can chain a flat map operator, which accepts the camera position as an input and returns another publisher as an output. Flat map is a useful operator for instances when you want to return a value that is asynchronous, such as performing a network call. Here, I'm assuming the network client class has support for returning a publisher as a result. I'll leave it as an exercise for you to convert async callback-based code to a publisher. 
And lastly, we would call sync to attach a subscriber to the chain. Within the sync block, we provide a block which will be executed with new places relative to the camera position that we have received. Here, I'm leaving out the implementation and simply logging new places. But this is where you'll want to update the map with new places. While I mostly covered camera idle events, there are several other events you can use in the Google Maps Platform Combined Library. In fact, all the delegate methods in GMS MapView Delegate have a corresponding publisher. I've linked the GitHub page for the library in the description below so you can learn more, so make sure to check it out. Coming up next in the series, I'll share how you can use Combine with the Places SDK for iOS. If there's anything you'd like to see next, let me know by leaving a comment below and make sure to subscribe to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching.